Some Democrats taking to social media overnight with three words, expand the court. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar are calling for more seats to be added. Both of them simply tweeting, expand the court. I did not like to hear yesterday, AOC said expand the court. Kamala Harris said, uh, we will remember this. That's just adding more divide and expand the court will is a step closer to a communist socialist uh, regime in this country, which I'm very worried about. You may win this vote and Amy Coney Barrett may become the next associate justice of the Supreme Court. But you will never, never get your credibility back. And the next time the American people give Democrats a majority in this chamber, you will have forfeited the right to tell us how to run that majority. We all need to be more courageous and we all must, must act in unprecedented ways to make sure that, that our rights are stabilized. And to Mitch McConnell, mm. we need to tell him that he is playing with fire. Oh, well, in 1879, In 1876, there were nine justices on the court. Our population has grown enormously since then. Should we expand the court? Well, let's take a look and see. What is true for Republicans is true for Democrats. And as Mitch McConnell said, this doesn't violate the rules of the Senate, because, of course, he makes the rules of the Senate, Mm -hmm. and it doesn't violate the Constitution of the United States. Neither does expanding the Supreme Court to 11 or 12 justices. That doesn't violate the Constitution. Of course, Joe Biden and the rest of the Democrats simply want to change the rules. And they don't care about the Constitution. They don't care about our system of government. They would prefer to keep the judicial branch as a super legislature and as an activist majority. And that's what we've seen through the past 50 and 60 years. If elected, what I will do is I'll put together a national commission of bipartisan commission of scholars, constitutional scholars, Democrats, Republicans, liberal, conservative. They'll know my opinion of court packing when the election is over. Now, look, I know it's a great question, y'all, and I don't blame you for asking. But you know, the moment I answer that question, the headline in every one of your papers will be about that. Other than, other than focusing on what's happening now, the election has begun. Whatever position I take on that, that'll become the issue. The issue is the American people should speak. You should go out and vote. You're in voting now. Vote and let your senators know how you strongly you feel. Court? Let Vote now. Are you going to pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't want you're to answer a senator. The question. I'm not going to answer the question. Why because, would you answer that because question? Question you want to put is, a lot of new question Supreme is, Court justices, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? Would he consider adding more seats to the Supreme Court? It's a legitimate question, but let me tell you why I'm not going to answer that question. Because it will shift all the focus. That's what he wants. He never wants to talk about the issue at hand. He always tries to change the subject. But let's say I answer that question. Then the whole debate's going to be, well, Biden said or didn't say. Biden said he would or wouldn't.